In this module, we'll talk about mitochondria. Mitochondria are the organelle that generate power for the cell. Cells need energy for different processes and the type of energy cells you can use are the chemical energy in the form of high energy bonds. Mitochondria, let's look at the structure of mitochondria first. Mitochondria are also double membrane structure. They have an outer membrane and an inner membrane. The outer membrane does not, is not very selective. Most materials can pass through the outer membrane. The inner membrane of mitochondria is folded and it is, it forms structures like little shells. Or this is basically the advantage of this formation of these shells is increasing the surface area of the membrane. Many enzymes that are present in the mitochondria are present on the membranes. So by making these shells, which are called Christi, mitochondria can increase the surface area along on which chemical reactions can take place. The matrix or the material present inside the mitochondria is called the matrix. Matrix has ribosomes. Mitochondria has its own ribosomes. Also, mitochondria has its own DNA. So, mitochondria can make their own proteins. Their ability to make proteins is limited. They have to import many proteins from the cell. However, mitochondria can make some proteins. The number of mitochondria can vary from cell to cell. Some single cellular organisms have one large mitochondria. Eggs has several hundred thousand mitochondria. An average liver cell will have about a thousand mitochondria. That the number of mitochondria depends upon the amount of energy requirement of the cell. Mitochondria, it is thought that cells acquired mitochondria through a process called endosymbiosis. When a couple billion years back, when we only had cells, some cells had a mode of feeding which required them to eat other smaller cells, predatory cells, for example. It, so people think, the scientists think, that one such large cell engulfed a smaller cell like mitochondria and was unable to digest it. So the mitochondrial cell, basically the small bacteria, what it was originally, started living in the larger cell. Both cells gained advantage. The smaller cell, which became mitochondria, for example, got the protection of the larger cell that no other cells will eat it. The larger cell got a specific advantage because back then the earth atmosphere was changing. There was more oxygen present. Oxygen is a toxic molecule. Mitochondrial enzymes can neutralize oxygen. So that gave an advantage to the larger cell. So over the course of evolution, although mitochondrial, mitochondria were independently living creatures, bacteria, over a period of time, their DNA shifted from the mitochondria to the cellular nucleus. So mitochondria today, if we take them out of the cell, they cannot exist independently outside the cell. Mitochondria are not the only org organelle in the cell that contain their own ribosome and their own DNA. Chloroplasts are also such organelles that contain their own DNA and their own ribosomes.